Eric Bancroft coming to you on behalf of the Clarity Crew here with your five at five. Uh, man, you guys are just faithful to be with us on this YouTube channel. Uh, listen to all the guys. Uh, as you guys know, we started off strong. We continue strong, but want to kind of change things up. We've come at you in the morning with the two-minute drill. We've come at you in the evening with the anchored devotion. Um, and now we've been giving you the five at five, that five minutes at five o'clock every day. And uh, I don't want to come at you with the five at five. As you know, my time with you, if you guys have been with me at all on these Thursdays, uh, one of the things that I've brought to your attention is the issue of Romans 14, issues of conscience and Christians having different consciences. We've certainly talked in light of COVID-19 about Romans 13, and that is the issue about kind of government. It's sort of the central theme of that chapter, how God gives governments a gift from him. It doesn't always make it great. Some government, understandably, being led by sinners is going to be corrupt at times, and that's tragic. But nevertheless, government is a gift from God. But I want to talk to you about is Romans 12 today. Romans 12, because of the significance, I think, for us in light of these crazy times. I don't know if you felt like I have felt, which is this week just feels like a firestorm. It, just, it is just crazy. If you've not been on social media, good for you. Uh, if you've not been reading the news, that is okay. Uh, if you have, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It is just seems like things have been just so crazy. Um, I think the thing that has been concerning to me is not what I'm sort of seeing in the world at large, but what I'm seeing amongst Christians. And it reminds me of Article 133 in Military Code. You're like, what is Article 133 in Military Code? Well, Dan Dumas knows. Uh, he used to be an officer in the Navy. And the significance of this is the reality that it's the conduct of unbecoming of an officer in the military. And so it's a real code. It's a real law that you can be charged with as far as that being a problem. Well, I want to talk to you about Romans 12, not Article 133, Romans 12 in the Word of God of conduct unbecoming of a Christian. Because I think that there has been times where we've just forgotten to find our bearings in the Word of God. So let me just give you a little bit of a sample, if I can, a little bit of a appetizer sampler of some things that Romans 12 reminds us of, and I'll bring it to you by consideration and reflection. So Paul says, he's 11 chapters into this letter already, chapter 12, he says, I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, not to culture, not to family, not to friends, to God. There's God as our audience here. And then listen to what he says, which is your spiritual worship, do not be conformed to the world, but be transformed. How? By the renewal of your social media? No, by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, which is good and acceptable and perfect. So we want to know the will of God, which is based on the word of God, that we might demonstrate that we are the people of God. And then let me give you some, some examples of that, where he says later on in chapter 12, verse 9, let love be genuine. Abhor what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with brotherly affection. We are family. Outdo one another in honor. Do not be slothful in zeal. Be fervent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation. Be constant in prayer. Continue, excuse me, contribute to the needs of the saints and seek to show hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice and weep with those who weep. Friends, at any given time in the body of Christ, we have a range of human expression and experience. And we have a responsibility to act like Christians. To other Christians, to believe the best, to be patient and kind and gentle and loving, to have categories for disagreement and not disunity, to even have the tragic reality of times where we sin against one another, but we bring the word of God to bear, the gospel informs our instincts, and we forgive one another as God in Christ has forgiven us. I just want to remind you of that in these days. When there's differing opinions, differing perspectives, differing actions, even if they're the same perspectives, the processes and the decisions being made can differ. Friends, let's have our hand and our heart in the word, 
that we might honor the Lord in these days. Not only in Romans 14, with our differing consciences, not only in Romans 13, how we think of the government, but in Romans 12, that we are not conformed to this world, but we're transformed by the renewing of our mind that we might prove what is the will of God, good, acceptable, and perfect. This is Eric Bancroft coming to you on behalf of the Clarity Crew. I hope this helps you today to find your bearings.